another powerful boom and crash strategy. Actually, I've posted this strategy before, but I I see it's doing very well, so I decide to like make an update to it. Okay, I've actually posted this strategy some months back, and it's still doing well. So I'm just going to like make an update to it. So I'll be fast with this video. Okay. I won't waste, waste um, much time on this. So in the other video, I um, explained this strategy and I see that whenever this um, Ichimoku line here gets to the, the 30 and the 15 zone right here, okay, you should get ready for spike, okay, because this is a, um, a spike catching strategy, okay. See spike catching strategy. So I see whenever it gets to that zone, you should get ready to buy. Okay. Whenever you're on boom, you buy. And whenever you're on crash, you are gonna be selling. Okay. So right now it has gotten to this zone. Okay. We are not going to buy immediately. Okay. You wait for some confirmation, and then I see that whenever you wait for a spike okay the confirmation is going to be a spike whenever you see a spike broke through this um ichimoku line on the main chart here okay whenever you see a spike broke through it like this like something like this now you are seeing okay that's when you are going to be buying okay and you are buying from the top okay the top of that spike yet you see the spike then from the top you are going to be buying okay so that's how I explain in the other video that the strategy works, okay, and it's still working till this day. The strategy is very powerful, it's simple but very powerful. Now just wait for a minute. I'm going to like explain the update, okay, that to make it more efficient and more suitable to use for you guys, okay. So but I'm going to like make a little explanation for those that are coming across this um, strategy for the first time, okay. So just be patient now. The reason why I say you should wait for a spike before entering is that you know this strategy is um, is based on break and retest. Okay, so now you wait for a spike. You see that the spike has broken through this um, Ichimoku line, which is serving as our support and resistance. Okay, it's serving as our support and resistance. Now you know whenever price broke through the support and resistance in the zone, it always come back to like retest. Okay. Before continuing to the upside, okay. So that is the that is the the, the retest now is what we are trading, okay. So now you see, for example, now price came and then there was a spike. It broke through the um, Ichimoku line. Then it came back and you can see there was spike continuously upward. So that is what I'm saying. It retest and then continue up. So that is how I explain the strategy in the other video. That is how it works okay that's how the strategy works now for the updates okay for the update now you go to your one hour time frame okay as you all know for those of you who have been watching my recent video you are still going to be using our you're still going to be using our um support and resistance line here also okay that's the updates so you just all you need to do now is to is to go to the the most recent Okay, you don't need to go to the back side like this. You don't need to go back to mark your out your zones. Okay, just the most recent support and resistance zone on your chart. That's the one you are going to be marking out. Okay, so you you go to your indicator tools, bring your support and resistance and um, tool here. Okay, so we are going to be marking the most recent. You mark it like this. Okay, so that's that's the way we are going to be marking it. Okay. So now guys, you can see that um, I finished marking the zoom. So when you finish marking the zoom, make sure whenever you are marking the zoom, you mark is the tip of the candle you put your support and resistance line, okay? Make sure you are marking the tip, okay? The tip like this. Okay, make sure you mark the tip. And then after 
like after you have finished marking the zones okay after you have finished marking the zones you go back to your one minute time frame okay and you can see you can see that the support and resistance is physically showing up on our chart now okay those ones you can't see before you can see it now on your chart and then you're going to be like you are going to be conscious of what you are doing okay you know your zooms now so now how does this help us okay how do we use this to our advantage now you know initially we are using only the we are using only the indicator window here to determine our entry okay only using the indicator window to know when to enter the market but now with the help of the support and resistance on our main chart we are going to have um we're going to have multiple entry opportunities okay we're going to be having multiple entry opportunity and with that i'm going to make a lot of money in a single day okay now recently i see that whenever it gets to this place wait for a spike then you buy from this place okay for now with this um support and resistance zone okay i'm going to be having multiple opportunities now you see it has gotten to this um zone right here okay now you know we are in the uh, overbought level okay we are in the overbought level and you know we are we are now in a strong support and resistance level down there so what you are expecting now is spikes and and you are, you are expecting the market to reverse and start going up okay so now there was a spike here okay you can see and then when it got to this um sorry let me bring out some tools you see that there was a spike here spike and then when it got to this um this ichimoku red line here which is serving as a support and resistance zone also so that zone now make it to spike up again you can see it makes it to spike up okay and now let's say you miss the um let's say you miss the you miss the 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 opportunity of this indicator window here now if you miss that opportunity you didn't enter quick or you didn't see that opportunity quick and then maybe before you see it now the market is somewhere here okay or let's say it has already spiked and you are somewhere here now with this blue line here now this our support and resistance zone is going to be giving you another opportunity another eye in the market to see your support and resistance zone again so you can also decide to buy from this zone whenever you see that it is get to this place you can also buy from this place and then maybe you can catch this spike too okay and then maybe when you miss this one also when you miss this one you can maybe decide to to buy from this zone also because now you know that the market is going up and you, you can see so many zones here which which are serving as an opportunity for you to buy from okay let's say you buy from this place now and maybe it didn't stop there's another zone here that will confirm it for you okay so you all this zone now is serving as an entry opportunity for you to enter the market and, and make your money okay so that's that's the the essence of the zone okay that's the the work is doing for you so you can see a different example here you can see there's a spike you can decide to enter from this zone right here maybe you enter from there and see another spike or you can enter from this one you can enter from this one and then there will be another spike and you can see you can see that there's different opportunities for you okay different opportunities for you to take trades with this powerful strategy so i hope you got value and i hope you understand what i'm trying to say the little updates i'm trying to make with this strategy right here so that is that is that's it for this strategy so I, I see that i'm not going to make the video much longer okay so i hope you use this one test it out for yourself go and test it out for yourself first before you put in your real money okay don't just take my words for it if you test it and it's working for you it's fine you use it okay 
but I've tested it out for myself and I see it's working for me so I decide to show it share it out again with you guys okay so for the zoom level for the zoom level you zoom out and then you zoom in twice okay one two that's it okay now I've already made a video where I shared the settings before but let me just quickly show you guys again okay so this this these are the former settings okay these three so I just added factors in this one so that I will know where to mark out okay the factors help me to know the the the, the strong support and resistance zone from my one hour time frame okay just as you see me marking it out earlier so this is the first indicator these are the settings okay so you just I'll be fast with this so just screenshot everything okay screenshot it and do it same way okay after that you click on done the next one is the factors this is just the setting nothing much after that one you search for your stochastic oscillator okay and then you set it same way as this okay this is the setting now under the levels this is the way you are going to set it okay 15 85 30 and 70 okay nothing much and the color make sure you set it if if your background is white you make the color white and if your background is black you make the color black okay that's just it after that you click on done and then our last indicator here is the ichimoku okay so this this is the setting this is the setting just screenshot it okay so that you click on done and then you have something you have a screen like this you have a screen you have a screen like this okay let me just quickly delete these things you have something like this okay remember just go to your one hour time frame that one is kind of an analysis for you also so that you you know how to trade in the one minute time frame you know your zooms okay you know your zooms so that's just it for this strategy i'll be trying to cut it now so if you get value from this video make sure you like subscribe and then turn on the notification bell so that whenever i post powerful strategy like this you get notified immediately thanks guys see you out